Hi. Hey everyone, Joseph James here with Professional Canine Solutions. We've got nine month old Boxer Delta, and we're gonna be working on uh, our obedience during this uh, two week boarding train. What I'm gonna show you tonight is just some, uh, some tips uh, on training a dog with food. It's how we first start off, and then we eventually go into uh, guided corrections and then uh, e collar. So, rule number one you've got to be engaging as a trainer or whether you're an owner, you've got to be engaging to your dog for them to uh, show interest in what uh, you're doing so uh, you can train them. Second thing is, I've got to have a hungry dog. So, uh, right now we skipped a meal, so uh, she'll be nice and hungry. We've got hot dogs in our hand, and to begin with, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold hot dogs in both hands, okay? Get her to pay attention to both hands. I'm going to wave it in front of her face, and then uh, every time she touches the hand, I'm going to mark it with the word yes. I'm not going to give any type of corrections. I'm not going to give any type of commands. All I want her to do is just show interest simply in what I'm doing. Yes. 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 So every time she touches my hand, I say the word yes, which is my marker word. Yes. And then I release a piece of food. All I'm doing is simply just conditioning her that one, yes, there's food in my hand, but two, every time I say the word yes, it releases. So as we start to get more and more into training, uh, the yes word is the marker for the behavior that I want, okay? And, uh, and then it also releases, it's the precursor to releasing the food. So right now I'm not giving any type of commands. She doesn't know anything. Yes. All I want her to do is know and understand that I've got food, okay, and she does things. Yes. Yes. So she won't get the piece of food until she touches the hand. Yes. Good. Good, yay. I've got to definitely be engaging to her. I'm not even calling her name right now to get her attention because the name is going to be part of the command. Yes. Yes. So now, now that she's following and understanding my hand uh, movements, and that's where the food comes from, I can actually start getting into uh, positions. So right now I'm gonna kinda go through all the different positions, uh, again, with no command. So I lure the sit, yes. Yes. The moment the butt touches the ground, um, I, I mark the behavior, which is the sit command, okay? But I just mark it with my word yes, and then it releases the food. Yes. So I'll show you the down. So I'm not I'm not letting her eat. Brrr. To begin with, if you have a troubled dog that's having uh, some issues going down, the moment they start making uh, going downwards, I'll mark the behavior. Ah, uh, yes. Break. Good. Yes. If they're, like I was saying, if they have issues of going down, uh, I will start marking the behavior as they start going down. If they're really having trouble for a dog that will go down, then um, once they're down on all fours, chest is touching the bottom, then that's when I will release my, uh, uh, my food reward or my marker. Um, if they're, like I said, if they're having trouble, then uh, I will do it in, in, in stages for the dog, but that's all dog dependent. Uh, my final end result for the down position is a dog being... Uh, out on all fours, chest to the ground. So if they know and understand that and uh, they're not doing it for me, then as they're sniffing the hand, there's no yes word. I'm not marking that behavior because I want an exact um, position. So there's the sit position, just luring right over the top of the head. Yes. So here's the heel position. I've just got her following my hand. 
as I'm walking with her. She's not really eating. She's nibbling at one piece of hot dog that I have. If I lose her attention, I'll just make a noise, kind of get her back to me. Yes. Good. And I'm just marking the behavior that, that she's in it. So right now we've already worked on uh, the cum uh, of her coming to me with no commands, the sit position, the down position, uh, and the heel position. So, uh, yes. How long do I need to train for? I need to train for as long as the dog is engaging to me or is interested in the food itself. Uh, they start to uh, show little to no interest, then I'm done. Sometimes that can last two or three minutes. Sometimes that can last a little bit longer, depending on how how hungry the dog is and then also uh, how motivated they are to work okay um, and then also distractions right now there's not a lot of distractions out here I'm out here in my front yard beside my house and uh, not a lot of things going on yes so if you notice that that's a perfect example of the come command she's not paying attention to me I did make a noise just to kind of get her attention the moment she turned that head towards me that's my marker, uh, I, 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 and I use my marker word, yes, because she's, she made motion to come to me or made motion towards me by turning her head. Mark it with the word yes, and then as she comes to me, because yes means what? Yes means I'm going for the food, okay? So over the release of the food. Yes! <laughs> good girl. That's a good girl. You tell she's a happy dog. Yes. Yay! Yay! Yes. So, as we continue to work, I'll continue to give everybody updates and uh, what we'll also do is I'll, I'll show you the progression as we go from uh, not only teaching her positions but putting a name to it and then also teaching the stay portion without an actual command. I'll teach them by uh, the food itself. Break! And that's it.